Peppermint Tea. October 14th, 2019. The weather is starting to change. My wife is sick. I have the window open and it might have cars going by, but that's okay because it's kind of hot in here. Surprisingly, I have the heat on. Today we're going to listen to Treasure by Cocteau Twins. So some preface for this. I posted a video um, five days ago saying that I was going to do a Patreon poll. Open to the public. You don't have to be a patron to be able to vote in the poll. Um, and it was which Cocteau Twins album should I do next? And the results were pretty interesting. I had it open for about five days and it just closed last night. The results are Treasure won out at five votes. Four votes for the entire discography, which that didn't go through, obviously. Victoria Land had three votes and Bluebell Knoll had two votes. 14 votes total. I also have my first patron. He's giving me a buck per month. What was his name? Jeff Dean, I think. Good old, good old Jeff Dean. Yeah, that's his name. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so I'm going to continue to do a few more public polls. Uh, basically just like which album should I do next? And I'll give everyone a, like a choice of like five to ten albums that they can pick from and vote on. And whichever one gets the most is the one I'll listen to next. And then I'll move it behind the paywall after a few polls. Um, just to give people incentive to get into the Patreon and, um, you know, basically have some influence on the channel. I thought that would be kind of cool. Anyway, um, what was the last album I listened to? Republic. Yeah. Um, not really a whole lot to say about it. Uh, Love Regret. Avalanche is a nice track. I haven't listened to anything else off that album. Uh, a little bit of Times Change, I think it's called, just because I like the instrumental. But that's all. That is all. Uh, I just want to truck right into Treasure. I'm, I'm actually pretty, pretty excited about this one. It's their third album. Uh, Heaven or Las Vegas was their sixth. So there are three albums between this. Four, five, six. No, their seventh? Dang, I don't remember now. This came out in 84, and Heaven or Las Vegas came out in 90. There's one, two, three albums between, yeah. Heaven or Las Vegas is their sixth. Treasure is their third. Oh, The Moon and the Melodies is like a, a collaboration weird thing. That's why it doesn't technically count. Okay, so technically two albums between. Um, 1984. Dream Pop, 41 minutes long. A lot of interesting things were said about this. Uh, this, I think, was the first album that had the signature lineup of Elizabeth Frazier, Robin Guthrie, and Simon Raymond. Raymond. Um, it became the band's most critically successful releases, although the band considered it underdeveloped. They even said things like uh, Guthrie referred to it as an abortion and to the period in which it was made as arty farty pre raphaelite Nonetheless, as Raymond observed, it seems to be the one that people like the best and it probably has sold the best. I don't know when they were saying this. Um, some point in the future. Uh, Pitchfork wrote, Cocteau Twins' third album was titled Simply Enough. Treasure was an adjective for the endlessly inventive melodic lines you'd find buried in these songs and a verb for what you'd do with them for years to come. Uh, where did I see? Uh, Robert Smith of The Cure calls it one of the most romantic records ever recorded, so much that he played it as he was getting ready on his wedding day. If that says anything about this album and the... Looking at that cover artwork, we're in for something here. I'm, 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 in, I'm down for some, for some dark dream pop, guys. Don't know about you. Um, been working on my novel, and I've been listening to Ambient Four by Brian Eno, like on repeat. A uh, nice dark ambient record. So I'm ready for some dark dream pop. Um, yet again, just. Right in the out in the uh, track titles, Ivo, Lorelei, Beatrix, Persephone. I have a uh, track called Persephone that I'm that's going to be on uh, my album coming out. Uh, Aloysius, Otterly, 
Do- Donimo. They're just putting the fact that they have no idea what they're talking about right in the track titles. It's funny if you go on YouTube and uh, listen to Heaven or Las Vegas and you go down into the comments and everyone's like, I have no idea what she's saying. It's really funny. Um, yeah, so let's let's just dive right in. No idea what to expect on this one. Um, I'm not going to try to compare it to Heaven or Las Vegas in any kind of serious way. But I think it'll be cool to see what they did six years before Heaven or Las Vegas. Because this is... Uh, Right around, um, this isn't really when Dis- Disintegration was 89, right? So this is this is a precursor to that. I don't really know what's contemporary with this in 1984, but uh, let's see what we got. Ivo. Definitely doesn't have the wall of sound thing going for it. Interesting. Um, it, like I said during the song, it doesn't really have that like wall of sound thing going for it, like uh, Heaven or Las Vegas did, where there was just like a pinch of shoegaze in there. This is the production is very rich still. Um, I can see how it's a little closer to like a post punk vibe as well. A little bit of goth in there, uh, but it's still very Cocteau Twins dream pop. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Vibing with it just as good as I was with um, Heaven Las Vegas. So let's do some more. Laura Lay? Laura Lai? Laura Lee? This is this is shaping itself up to be a favorite for me um, over Heaven or Las Vegas. I don't know if I'm gonna like love it because I don't love Heaven or Las Vegas. I just really like it. I don't go back to it all the time. But this is really hitting a, a different note for me, and we'll see how the rest of the album goes. But this this might this might be part of my dream pop rotation. We'll see. Beatrix. It seems like the perfect album to be listening to in October. I don't see myself coming back to that track individually, but if this is a good, like, cohesive album listen, um, that, that seems to fit fine in the album itself, but as just like an individual track, I didn't love it a whole lot. Persephone. I'm sure this one's better than my Persephone, but let's see what you got, Cocteau Twins. (laughs) 
Very different from my song. Those post-punk drums. One could almost argue that these songs are instrumental. Because half of the songs, like, you don't recognize any words. And if there are actual lyrics, like, you, you have to look them up. And then you'll know them. But it's like just listening to this, like, I, I don't know if I've recognized a single word so far. If I have, I haven't, like, noticed it and logged it in my head. So they're almost, like arrangements they're like orchestral in a way and like the voice is just another instrument that's what i find really fascinating about cocteau twins and i've never really seen that used elsewhere Unbelievable. Uh, what wasn't in love with that one either. Um, it was okay, but I liked the first two tracks more. But that's fine. Panda for Sin. Pa Panda, Pandora, for Cindy. Oh. Uh. Very droney. Um, kind of taken aback now because the first two tracks felt a little more immediate and like directly listenable, whereas these last three have been very droney, kind of backgroundy, sort of ambient in a way. Um, they're not as diverse or I don't know what you would call it. They're more sprawling, which is fine. Um, it's just giving me a little bit of whiplash because I don't know quite how to pin this album yet. Amelia. Hmm. Sounds like someone's mowing their lawn. That one was fine too. Again, droney. But um, I'm just kind of like enjoying it. I, I have nothing, no gripes, nothing bad to say so far. Um, I, I like that. Could be a helicopter. There's like a helipad right outside across the street for some weird reason. It's just like an energy plant. Um, it, it is darker. It is a little more gothy. I like that. But it still has that dream pop vibe. Um, it's just, it's more ambient. It's not as direct. Um, like, I think Beach House is one of my favorite dream pop bands. I'm like way in the back here. One of my favorite dream pop bands because they can ride the line between listening to it in the background, just putting on a full album, and you can directly listen to it and it's engaging. I think that's why Beach House is one of my favorites. And because Cocteau Twins don't do that, that's why they haven't been in my rotation. 
Um, but when I do want just dream pop I can zone out to, they're a good go-to. Um, and it's looking like this album is similar. I was thinking it wasn't from the first two tracks, but that's fine. That's fine. El Alois, Alois, Alusis. Fine. These are all good, good songs. Um, Sis, Sis, Sicily, Sic, Sicily, Isosceles. I saw Sis. I saw lit. I saw Lissies. That's fine. Again, kind of droney, kind of like Pandora. Uh, not one of my favorites so far, though. But how about Otter, Otterly? Otterly? I apologize if I'm kind of out of focus. It just feels nice to relax back here. Nice little instrumental interlude before the end. Very kind of like rainy day, mysterious kind of sound. All right. It looks like Domino, but it's not. It's Denemo. Denemo. Finding Denemo. Six minutes. It's a nice little breakaway. This one's pretty cool. I like the variety in the composition. It goes from through different phases. There is treasure. 
There is treasure, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Pretty good. That's a pretty good album. Um, don't know. I say this with context. I don't know how I feel. And by that, I mean, I know that it's good. But I don't know, like, how this album sits with me. Like, mood-wise, you know, people will take different albums or bands or songs and correlate them with memories, uh, you know, nostalgia, certain, like, contexts, events, uh, moods, you know. It's like, I'll listen to this album when I feel this way or this song when I feel that way. And I can see that this album has a lot of potential for that, but I just don't quite know how it sits with me right now. So um, I'll definitely update you guys in the next video, uh, the next reaction as to kind of how I feel about this album. Cause I feel like there's a lot of texture here. There's a lot of good composition here. Uh, I like the tone, I like the mood. It didn't just like click with me instantly, but I think it will click with me. I just need to give it a few more listens and kind of get used to the songs. Uh, Cause oftentimes in these reactions, albums can overwhelm me. Um, especially if you have enough tracks, like basically anything over eight tracks, I'll get, I'll get overwhelmed to the point where I don't even remember what some of the previous tracks sounded like. Um, but with tracks like on Laughing Stock, where there's like, what, four or five, that wasn't as bad. I could instantly kind of remember what each track was like, but typical albums, uh, especially dreamier, progressive ones, not really the case, um. But as a whole cohesive album, this was pretty nice. Pretty nice, guys. Okay. So, stay tuned, everyone. Be sure to hit that notification bell. I say that ironically, but also half serious. Um, if you guys want to pay attention for the poll video that I will uh, put out, um, basically sometime after this video goes up, I will release a, another poll. Um, letting everyone know that I posted a poll on my Patreon. So either, you know, pay attention to your subscription box for that, or get the notification bell so you know my videos get posted, or just go become a patron. You know, a dollar a month is minimum. You can get in there and you can get access to the posts. I imagine you get notified. I don't know. Um, any of that, and uh, you'll be notified that there's going to be a new poll. I'll probably pick like five or six albums that I'm willing or feeling up to doing next. And then again, I'll have the poll run for like three or four days like I did this last one. Um, and it just gives you guys an opportunity to kind of influence the channel a little bit. Uh, just want to grow the community and encourage interaction a little bit. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. It'll probably go up hopefully a few, day, few days after this video. Um, should be some good albums in there. Um, I'm probably I'm gonna try to keep the albums even because if I put Trout Mass Replica in there, or just any you know boom crazy album, it'll get the most votes. So I'm gonna try to do like an even amount, um, and then maybe I'll do like a gauntlet, kind of like three or four album poll later where it's like you know uh, Remain in Light, Trout Mass Replica something else, you know, just like big albums that will probably also be on an even plane. Yeah, that is it. Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching. Again, please check out the Patreon. Very much appreciated. I want to grow the community interaction. So please go check that out. Um, yeah, that is all. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye.